What you doing in here? Come on, get up. It's time to toast, man. Look, I got the package. We're gonna open this today, man. I'm so excited. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. today because I got my book Freedom with the Limits and I'm going to open this on purpose <laughs> I like that I'm open this on purpose we're on purpose today we're going to have an excellent conversation but first we got to start the day of course y'all know we start with the water but y'all see you going into the glass so start jump start that day, yo. Let's get all the water this morning. Get it in. Start start it up. Get your body revved up. Come on, drink it all. Drink it all. Come on. It's only 16 ounces. Mm. Mm. <sighs> That's that original. Look like tomorrow we're gonna start on that slow sipper. that you could do let's start the day off with putting something powerful in our body okay so first we're gonna toast the creator or whatever name you choose to call the creator right whatever makes you comfortable just call the creator we know that energy is around us we're asking the energy to be active in our lives on this day of Nia now we're gonna toast our ancestors right our personal ancestors our grandmothers and our grandfathers great grandmothers our great grandfathers our aunts our uncles and our friends yesterday was the anniversary of one of my best friends um, that passed away so um, today toasting John Fillard trans out brother now now we're going to toast this present moment 
which is Nia. We're going to we gonna drink for that Nia or pour. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a libation. But we, instead of pouring it out, we're pouring it in. And last but not least, we are toasting our children, our children's children unto infinity. Go on and enjoy your drink. So, let's open up this package, then get to cleaning out. Now, we all know, well, I ain't gonna say we all know, but having a daily routine is important, right? Um, especially before we go out into the world and start working these jobs or jobs or pursuing our career. It's good to get set the most things in motion. So, what I wanna do today is share with you something that I've been working on for about two years now. And um, it's a book that I, I, I compiled. I took a lot of blogs and I put a, put a book together, right? Um, some new material, some old material. So we're going to open it and see how it feels and how it looks. stuff. It's nothing like it, but this is how it comes packaged. So that you can go and review it. to you. Uh, this project took on a life of its own. I had no pop, no plan to publish, but who am I to know what the universe has in store for us on our personal journey? It is hard to believe that all this began as a challenge from a fellow poet. I was hosting a poetry show on the north side of Columbus in a cafe called New Harvest. We started this show in basically the same way I created this book. We formed a poet circle that met every Wednesday night and shared our work with each other and whoever would listen. We attracted poets from all over and one of them was a sister named Tiff. It just so happened that Tiff participated in a writer workshop and other circles. She presented me with a challenge to write a haiku a day for 30 days. At first I was scared, but I figured I'd give it a try. 30 days turned into 60, and 60 into 120, on until I compiled enough to put this book together. It is funny how everything seems to work, to work together, because at the same time that I started this journey with haiku, I also began using Twitter. The short form of haiku appeared to be perfect for Twitter, so I would share what I was writing on. Unfortunately, I got no notice, but this did not stop me. The more I used the haiku, the more I began to see the freedom that the three lines actually gave me. I began to use the form to express all types of thoughts that occurred to me. Those thoughts began to take life in my blog, and for a while, each of my blogs contained a haiku, or haiku. I took the ancient form and became proficient at it. I am far from mastery of the style, but I applied enough time to it to call myself a novice. It is incredible how three lines and 17 syllables can give you an infinite amount of material to write about, and I figured that was the lesson. A person is not defined by their limits unless they accept them as the fact. We become great when we take what we have and shape it into the things that we need to prosper in this world. The limits of Haku and Kuji Chagalia that I applied to my writing opened up a whole new world for me. 
the craziest part about this book is that I threw away the, and lost more haiku than I was able to publish. This book came from a need that I have to express myself in my own unique way. I hope that those that read their, this work will find inspiration, humor, and mistakes so that you can see that we all are works in progress. I hope that I move you to give yourself a mission to reach for and accomplish your goals no matter what they are. Now I need to be honest with you as well. I also published this book to raise funds. I believe you cannot become wealthy if you, own, if you rely on one stream of income. I am working toward building seven streams of income and hopefully those streams will not only be able to fund me but fund the organization that I have. I pledge that 50% of all the money that is spent to purchase this ebook will go to Giami Tribe, an organization that I have invested my time, blood, and sweat and tears into. This organization is community based and focused on nation building and teaching others to nation build through their service to others. Giami Tribe is my baby, where I locally try to provide activities to fill in the empty spaces in our members' lives. Through Giami Tribe, we provide study groups, martial arts classes, camping trips, and etc. to all those involved in the fam. The goal that I have now is to be able to make some or to take some of the young people and adults to Ghana. So understand when you support the journey, you are supporting much more than a little hot than a little hot Tim. I feel that I have a nation on my back, and if I don't strive every day to do something to build it, I have failed my children peace in 100 years so that's the book he ain't allow me to put nothing on the back this time I don't know what's up with that but hey it's cool alright so let's get busy Call this board meeting to order.
We have our points to discuss. We have our matters on the board. Present to the board. We're gonna go creases today for the kids. Of course, I'm putting creases in mine. You know. But actually, maybe yeah, I'm gonna do creases. We're gonna do creases for the kids. Alright, so now, here we go. It is Nia, man. I was I, and I'm so excited because I got to look at my book. I'm gonna get to carry it around with me. I get to hold it. There's nothing like being able to hold something that came from you, create, you know what I'm saying, that, that you created, that you gave birth to, there's nothing like it, you know what I'm saying, I encourage everybody to get out there and do it, but one of the things that popped up to me last night is because one of the numbers that come up for Nia, right, of course you got purpose, Nia's purpose, truth, justice, rights, and respect, truth, justice, rights, and reciprocity, balance, today is balance, but also a number that come up for Nia is the number five. Woo, excuse me. The number five. What's up with the number five? Five for us in Giambi means freedom, right? Freedom, right? And in order to truly be free, you have to be living on purpose. That's the only way that you can actually move and be free. Because that don't matter, that, that, that is not dependent. You moving on purpose is not dependent on your environment, right? When you live on purpose, it gives you the ability to actually exist in a state of freedom. Even if the environment is horrible. When you set a purpose, when you set a purpose to what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? You you provide the fuel for your freedom. You know what I'm saying? So it don't matter what condition you in, it don't matter where you at, long as you set that purpose, right? And we all have an opportunity to do that. We all have an opportunity to start setting a purpose. Now, I ran through the day just a little bit different. I, I shared a, 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 a quick glimpse of the eye shape breath, the Giambi salutation, you know what I'm saying? I showed a little bit of that. None of that is, is top secret. Like I tell y'all, I tell y'all the time I appropriate shit. Other people appropriate this shit from my people, so I don't mind appropriating for, uh, from others. But the, the point that I'm trying to show you is, I set a purpose to my day. You know what I'm saying? I set out to have a great day every day. So in some form of fashion, when I get up in the morning or when I wake up, or when you wake up, set your day. By you checking in with me in a sense and, and doing a toast, you're setting the day, right? You're setting up the day. You're, you're setting a purpose to your day. You rose. You got up. You drunk. You jump-started your body. You saluted your ancestors. You set a purpose to your day, right? You know what I'm saying? When you pouring, when we when we sipping, right? When we sipping, we sipping for the creator, that energy that's all around us. I mean, I ain't got to walk you through the steps because we just did it, but the point I'm trying to say is that you're laying out a purpose. Right? You have an opportunity to continue that day in that vibe. Right? Boom. We woke up to salute the day. We woke up to, to remember what the day meant. Purpose. Now, what are you going to do with the rest of the day? What are you going to do with the rest of your process? So I showed you how I try to set my tone. Right? So that when I go and I'm dealing with people, I'm coming from a, 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 a centered place. And I try to keep the center as long as I possibly can. And believe you me, it's hard, right? You know what I'm saying? But the point is, I set the purpose. Now I might not make it all the way through the day center, but at least I started my day with that in my mind. I set it as a purpose. And you don't always have to accomplish the goal, right? The, 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 the piece is that you are on the journey. That's why we say Giambi journey, right? You're on a journey. You know what I'm saying? Because fear is always going to pop up. Fear none. You know what I'm saying? That shit sound good. But hey, we all have experiences where some fear come. Right? Fear none. Unless God. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it sounds good. But it's a purpose. It's an idea. Right? And it gives you something to move towards. Every day. Every day. You got to start it off by setting the tone. By setting the purpose. What is the reason for you rising this morning? I got up a little bit earlier today because I was excited 
about getting down here and doing this, right? Getting down here and putting this together. Getting down here and open my book. I set a purpose, and when I set the purpose, getting up early in the morning wasn't an issue. It wasn't an issue. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, the biggest issue I got is how do I put all this stuff in here, right? I got the eye shape, I got all this stuff, so how am I gonna cut it? How, you know what I'm saying? What's gonna be the final cut? So you know what I'm, um, I ain't even trying to say it. I said, yo, set a purpose to your day. And then after you're able to set a purpose to your day, you're gonna be able to find a purpose to your life. When you find a purpose to your life, guess what you got? My friend, you have found true freedom. In, 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 um, in Giami, or back in the day, when we was known as the Underground, Underground Railroad, we would have, we asked a question, what is freedom? Freedom is peace of the spirit, mind, and body. How do you bring peace to the spirit, mind, and body? You set a purpose. This is Brother Tim saying, have an excellent, and I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jeremy Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.